Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. I recently had the opportunity to sit down with Dr. Harold Katcher, who was one of the authors of an amazing paper published on BioArchive in May 2020. The paper is a preprint and so is still under peer review. The paper was about an experiment which reduced the age of rats by an average of an unprecedented 54%. Before we release the interview, as the paper is so groundbreaking, we think it is worth doing a review to provide some context. When the paper was released, Dr. Sinclair made some comments. Let's see what he said. So Dr. Sinclair was not involved in the study, but he tweeted about the paper. Here he said he spoke to the first author, I believe Dr. Horvath, to see if the 54% decrease in age was believable. Here we see that Dr. Horvath did not believe the results at first either, but that he checked the genomes to be sure. The rats weren't mixed up and the data is the data. Dr. Sinclair, provided a quick summary of the results, which he said were astounding. Are the results believable? As Dr. Sinclair says, the measurements and the stats do look correct. And also Dr. Horvath is the best there is for epigenetic age testing. This is the paper, Reversing Age, Dual Species Measurement of Epigenetic Age with a Single Clock. The background for the paper was that young blood has been shown to benefit older rats but the previous experiments were done before epigenetic aging was available. So they developed and validated six epigenetic clocks for rats, some of which were common to humans, hence the two species in the title. At a high level, they say that they saw the age of the blood, heart and liver more than half, as well as a small decrease in the age of the hypothalamus and numerous functional improvements. They also noticed a reduction in cellular senescence and concluded that the plasma-derived treatment markedly reverses aging according to epigenetic clocks and benchmark biomarkers of aging. We will dive into these results a bit later in the video. In the plasma fraction treatment used in the investigation, the plasma of old rats is replaced by that from young rats. In the experiment, they had three groups of rats, with six rats in each group. One group was 30 weeks old. Those were the young rats and two groups were 109 weeks old, who were the old rats, one of which received the plasma fraction treatment. The rats were injected with the plasma over an eight day period at the beginning, and then again at day 95, as in the diagram at the bottom of the slide. The reasons for the injections being spread over eight days were so that the rat veins had time to recover between the injections. Here are the results in more detail. This set of graphs show the epigenetic age of tissue in the blood, liver, heart and hypothalamus at the end of the experiment. We can see that the old treated group on the right is a lot younger than the old untreated, indeed almost back to the age of the young rats. The blood was 66% younger, the liver 75% and the heart 57. The exception was the hypothalamus which was 11% younger. Here are the age related blood markers, which have the advantage that they can be taken over time. I won't go through all of these, but you can see that after the administration, the treated age rats with the yellow dots move towards the numbers of the rat, younger rats in blue dots. These charts show the end products of oxidative stress, particularly malondialdehyde and antioxidants in the tissues, again showing a marked improvement for the treated animals. And here are the major markers of inflammation, interleukin-6, and TNF-alpha, both showing a marked decrease. As the inflammation is known to increase with age, this shows a system-wide improvement. And lastly, although the hypothalamus did not show the same changes in epigenetic age of the other tissues, the treated rats did show cognitive performance improvements. The rats were put into a maze and the time taken to escape recorded. As they learn, the latency decreases. This was done on four separate occasions and we can see the improvement for the treated rats with the yellow line. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do watch out for the interview videos with Dr. Katcher, where among other things, we will talk about having the results repeated by independent parties and what the next steps are. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button and choose all for any new video release notifications.
It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.